Hi, welcome to Eretor Academy. Today we are going through the Mission Planner installation process. Mission Planner is the most popular open source ground control software that is used for wide range of unmanned systems. All right, let's go and find the Mission Planner website. So I'm going to the Chrome browser. You can use any browser and search for the Mission Planner. Click on the first link in the search results. Then you will see a documentation page of the Mission Planner. To install the software, click on the Installing Mission Planner. It will take you to this page in the documentation. You are gonna see this option. Download the latest Mission Planner installer from here. That is .msi file. Click on this to download your Mission Planner. You can see the Mission Planner is getting downloaded. Key point to note: This process of installation will install the latest version of the Mission Planner. If you want the specific version to be downloaded, stay till the end of this video. Now, our file got downloaded. From downloads, I'll click on this Mission Planner latest app .msi. It's giving a pop-up. This is the welcome wizard of the setup. So click on next. Then accept this license agreement. Then click on next. It is showing the default location where the Mission Planner will be installed. If you want to change, you can change it using this option called here you can open the folders where you want to locate it in or here so let's suppose i am going to install it in the mission planner default folder then click on ok then click on next now your mission planner is ready to install then click on the install so it will take some time to install so you have to allow this administrator access We have seen it was showing copying the files. It means I already had a mission planner installed. That's why it is replacing the old files with the new files. After some time, this window will be popped up. So click on this next. Click on the installation. It is asking to download the ports and install. So click on the install. So now it's will. So now it will take some time to install the drivers. So once the driver installation is done, click on finish. Then. Yeah, here is our mission planner. It is installed. So to launch the mission planner, upon exiting from this window, you check this launch mission planner, then click on the finish. Now you can see our mission planner getting open. This is the terminal of the mission planner, where all the background program will be running. Here is our mission planner window. So it is asking to install this plugin. Now I don't want this plugin, so I am clicking on no. Yeah, it is asking for the firewall access. So yeah, I am allowing it. Click on allow. And maximize the window. So here is your mission planner installed. Till now we have seen how to install the mission planner latest builds. So now let's see how to install the specific version of the mission planner. Again, let's go to the browser. Then. Let's search for the same mission planner. So the left side, click on this drop down of the installing mission planner. Here you can see Windows installation. Again, drop it down. You will find the updating mission planner. Click on this. So here you can find this mission planner advanced installation. Check it. Click on this hyperlink. It will take you to this page where you can install the mission planner using advanced installation steps. So now let's come to here. You can see you can find all the different versions of the mission planner zip and MSI files here. So let's click on this hyperlink. It will take you to this page. Let me zoom in for more visibility. So here are the different mission planner builds. Let's suppose I want to install this mission planner 1.3.79 build. So instead of clicking on the .msi file, click on the zip file because the .msi file will hide a lot of features of the mission plan. So it is recommended to download the zip file. Click on the zip file. It will start downloading. You can check it in the downloads. Downloading the zip file of 1.3.79 bit, which I am looking for. Finally, our mission planner 1.3.79 zip file is downloaded. Let's go to the file manager. Downloads. Let's extract this zip file. Extract. It will take some time to extract. Depends on the speed of your system. Yes. Our zip file is extracted. So now you can see all the files and documents of the mission planner build version 1.3.79. Among these files, let's look for the mission planner execution file. Yes, 
here is the application dot exe file double click on this and your system's antivirus software is stopping it so click on more info click on run and wait to run the installation file so here is the same terminal of the machine planner but for the build of 1.3.79 now our machine planner build version 1.3.79 is getting open let's allow the firewall protection and yeah here is our machine planner installed so previously we had installed the latest version of the machine planner but now we have installed the specific version of the machine planner in the same way if you have a specific build version of machine planner required come to this page and look for the different build versions of the machine planner if you want the old versions of the machine planner click on this add show it will take you to the page where the oldest version of the machine planner to the latest version of the machine planner files are available but msa and dot zip files are available that's all for this video if you found this video helpful please do like share and subscribe to retire academy for more exciting content on drones and their technology thanks for watching